Yo, what is going on guys? We are back today with some more Pete Rose Road to the Show and our Reds are not doing too hot. We have lost 10 of our last 12. That is not what we want to be doing. So we're going to go over here and try to get things turned around against an old friend of good old Pete Rose's and that is the Philadelphia Phillies. Look at these guys over the last 10 games. Joey Votto's batting 176. Carr goes on a team. I gotta love how Carr goes on a team. Batting 154. Billy Hamilton 161. Franco 257. Wait, is Carr going on our team or the Phillies? I don't even know. But let's see, um, anybody else? Pete Rose, what are we batting? Petey's batting 400 in the last 10 days. So, so he's still batting solid. That's all right. As long as Pete's doing good, right? We want to see the team be successful, though. We want to see these guys actually make the playoffs. Oh, no. Homer Bailey's on the mound. I thought we was going to make it to the playoffs. Looks like it's not looking too promising anymore. 514 on year, 18 RBIs. Come on, Pete. What do we got? Anything going here? Nobody is on base here in the first inning. Got that vision a little bit up. There we go. I like that one. You can't throw that down the middle. Did he catch that? What a play. Get out of here. Great. We got a one-run lead. Fourth inning. Now we got a two-run lead. That ball is way out of here as that announcer would say that ball is about 15 rows from the upper deck out of the stadium pete rose is feeling it man the guy's batting 500 for it he's only got a team right now batting really good the rest of the team's been struggling so hopefully we can keep that going here got a runner on first base here so maybe now if we can get one over the fence we got a chance at a scoring opportunity but it looks like they're trying to throw old billy out that must be billy over there on first base should we give him a chance to steal one we might take another pitcher and give him a chance to steal i think i don't know it depends where he throws it he throws it down the middle we're gonna have to take it he always hung it he hung that baseball way over the plate. You can't be doing that. Hang and slider. That's going to go over the fence every time. That a boy, Pete. Way to cash in on that one. Was it a slider? Could have been a hanging curveball. It's hard telling, but he hung that baseball right down the middle. You cannot hang a baseball right there. I did not expect a Hall of Famer like Pete Rose not to kill that ball over the fence. But you know it's crazy? You see how empty them seats are? I like the realism in this game, the actual emptiness of the seats, because that would be the Reds when they're 9 14. But we're going to fill that stadium up, man. We're going to start turning our season around. We're going to sweep the Phillies. That's going to make us 12 and 14. And we're going to be on our way to being a much better team. Oh, we swung at a batty. Oh, bad play. He can still make the turn. Run to first. He got there. Is that going to be an error or not? They're going to count that as a base hit. Good. And say so you dove for it, so it's a questionable one. So we're three for four on tonight. Another good night by Pete Rose. But the Reds have blown the lead. It is the 10th inning, a 5-5 five five game. What is our bullpen doing? We got a golden opportunity right here to get a walk-off winner. I don't think Pete's got his first walk-off home run yet, and we're still trying to get it. This would be a great chance. Oh, it's late. Very, very late. It looks so good. I couldn't tell if it was going to be a fastball or a curveball. That was the problem. I just, here we go. Oh, check that swing. I'm nervous now. If we strike out, no wonder we don't have a walk-off home run. The nerves get to me, man. Every time we have a chance, the nerves get to me. Take your time. Deep fly. Foul ball. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Don't strike out. It's one and two. Tenth inning. There we go. Get in the gap, baby. I'd like that to go over the fence, but the gap will work. That's good. That's good. That ball is going to be going for a while. He could probably get three on this one. Maybe we can get an inside the park home run. Should we try it? Ah, oh, we better stay at third. We got to try to win this game for the team. This is it. Our chance to win the game or the game winning run on third base. Hit that ball in the gap. Joey Votto's up of all man. Of all men, three for four with a home run. He says, what, 174 average? Votto's going to hit me, and I got the confidence. Come on, Joey. Do Joey Votto-like things. 3 -0. He's going to walk. He is going to do Joey Votto-like things. There it is. <laughs> Called it. They pitched around him. They're scared of him. It's all right. It's Joey Votto. I'd be a little bit scared, too. 0 for 4 for Duvall. Man, Duvall, what are you doing? They got the infield in. We can't go on a ground ball. What do you think of Duvall? Oh, we're going to go anyway. Turn around. Yeah, there we go. That was nerve-wracking right there. Needless to say, though, our being silly like that got the runner to second base, too. So no more double play opportunity here. And once again, a ground ball. What are you guys doing? Get that ball. Get there. Get there. Get there. Oh, uh, no. Maybe we should have taken a chance. He was going to throw it home when we was charging, but there was no way he was going to make it. So we just figured, don't waste it out. Turn around. Tony Renda is up. Come on, boys. Find a five game in the 10th inning. Let's make something happen here. Come on, Renda. I got confidence in you, my dude. Another ground ball. Did that get down the line? It did. That's going to win the game. 
Tony Renda coming in clutch. Pete Rose scoring the game winner, and the Reds have walked it off in the bottom of 10. Hold your heads up high, boys. Almost blew that game. Stood strong. Won the game. I like to see it. Brandon Finnegan's on a mind. I like me some Brandon Finnegan. 532 on the year after that. 10 home runs, 21 RBIs. We need to get some guys on base ahead of us. The power numbers look like Bryce Harper or something with 44 home runs and 99 RBIs that one year he had. We got to get some more RBIs. That's not going to do it. That's a ground out to the second baseman. It's all right, though, Pete. In our first chance to field here so far. Freddie Galvis at the plate. Fourth inning. Tie ball game. Can't be making a mistake here. And I can't see the baseball. There it is. All right. I thought it was going to go in front of me. It didn't. I got it. Don't worry about it. There we go. Getting our first put out of the game. Poor reaction. Yes, it was. We've got to work on that. First and second. Finally, we have a chance to get ourselves. Oh, is that the first? <laughs> That's the pitcher on third, second base. we got to hit one over the fence. That means the pitcher can't score on a base hit, but he can on a home run. Called it. Smokestacks. Hit him. Oh, I just missed the smokestack sign. That's all right. Make him go boom. That's a three-run home run. Pete Rose coming in big. You put runners on base, he's going to knock him in. He was asking for it. He had to come in clutch, asking for them RBIs. That's going to do it right there. Oh, it looks like we've got another opportunity in the seventh. we got to build on that lead. We don't want to blow a lead like we did last night. And get over there. Get over there. Get over there. Uh-oh, that could be a double play. Head first slide. He made it. They're going to call him out? It hurts, though, Pete. Runners on first and second. Couldn't do nothing with it. You got to get them RBIs up, man. We did win the game, though, it looks like. We had a very excited Brandon Finnegan out there. Oh, he pitched a no-hitter. The complete game no-hitter by Brandon Finnegan. If he could just stay healthy for the Reds, man. But that is something you want to see. It must have been a combined no-hitter the way it looks because Singrani was getting a handshakes. It was. Finnegan went seven innings, no hits. Five walks, though. Them walks killed him. Couldn't stay out there any longer with all them walks. But a combined no-hitter for the team nonetheless. So still a very good pitching performance by us. You got to love it. Going in there. Game number three against them Phillies. You have to think we got our heads up pretty high right now. We got a lot of momentum going in this game. Big blowout win. No-hitter. Come on, boys. We're ready. Oh, no. Okay. That's why Eduardo Rodriguez is not a starter for the Reds right now. Four to nothing lead for the Phillies early. It's all right. We've got a tall hill to climb, but we're a good team. We can do it. I got faith in us. Here comes a good pitch right here. I know it is. He hung it, and what a play. That backhander, Pete. Nope, can't quite make it. All right, all right. We got work to do, but we're in the second inning. We scored two runs. A home run right here ties the game. I told you, don't doubt those Reds, man. They're feeling good about themselves right now. That's a double. That's going to get an RBI. That's going to get a run, and it's going to be four to three Reds. We got a chance now, boys. We're coming back. We're only in the second inning. Take your time. Patience. Don't panic. There it is. Six to four. The comeback has been completed. Six unanswered by the Reds, and Pete would like to add to that with a base hit. That is all for now. All right, we're just demolishing these Phillies now. Nine runs. Pete wants to bat every inning, I think. He didn't get a bat in the third, if I'm mistaken. But nine to four. And we're going to make it 11 to four, just in case you didn't know this game was over. Pete just about hit that baseball out of the park. That ball was, what, second row from the top? How far did that baseball go? That was a good shot by Pete right there. Got to start filling up these stadiums, though, man. There ain't nobody at these games. We got to start winning more games. I want a bigger crowd out here. These fans need something to watch, though, so we're going to start winning those games. 448, we'll take it. All righty, though, we did pick up that win. We swept them Phillies for what it's worth. We needed that win. We needed all three of them because now we're 12 and 14, and our record is looking a lot better for next week's episode of Pete Rose's Road to the Show. So as for this video, go guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.